Hey there YouTube Drive, so doing an unboxing video. We're going to install this ID Cooling IS50X V2 CPU cooler into the Gigabyte Z490M. Now this is LGA 1200, 1151, and 1700. Eventually I'll do probably another video for 1700. But for now, we are uh, doing this one. So, let me find a good... I think we'll stick with this one, all right? This gives you a uh, top down, back side, and a uh, front side, all right? So, CPU is going to be, in this case, I think we'll go with uh, Intel Pentium G6400. And lift this up. I shall use a... Uh, this is a used motherboard. Well, I bought it new, but uh, it's been used on the channel. Just make sure everything looks good in there. Now, on our CPU, folks, little triangle there on this plastic thing. There is also a triangle in this corner, right? So, how you line that up. Or you can look at where the I.O. stuff is from left to right. So, if this is on your left, we read English left to right. And so... Um, that's basically the left side. All right. When this thing is in, this should sit flush with the uh, the frame around it. And there are grooves in this that uh, will stop you from putting it in any other way. But once you've identified that it looks good, you drop this down. Make sure that slips up underneath that screw there, and then boom, that pops off. All right. And of course, that got stuck in there. So, from here, folks, then we, uh, we've got to get out our CPU cooler. I'm going to set this to the side. Now, we've already, we've actually already unboxed this, so we're just going to tear through that part. What we need is our instructions, and hopefully, this. CPU cooler will be compatible. That's always a concern. Now, instruction manual. Let's put this where I can read it. And I will uh, refer back to it. I may show you guys different parts of it as we make this video. So, what we need are Got to grab the right brackets, and you can see there are two or three. So we want the LGA 1200 compatible one here, and with the bracket screws. So we're going to be itty bitty little number fives here. So we'll go ahead and grab those out. Now they have done a, a good job of labeling these products, as you may have noticed. Okay, that. that one's not labeled. Okay, so we know this is uh, probably, that's AMD. The long ones are AMD. So we'll put those to the side. And then one of these sets has 1700. And we want the ones that don't say 1700, okay? So that's the 1700. Put that to the side. We'll want our thermal paste out of the bag. We want our screws, so we'll need four of those. At least this is what we need right now, okay? And of course, you know, the other thing you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So hopefully you have one of those lying around, folks, because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble, right? You just found mine. So first thing to do, folks, uh, we have the first thing. We can take this off. I'd recommend wiping that down before uh, the installation. I'll do that separately. So, 
if we look at the way these are on here, it would appear they're going to go like this, right? So, only one way for that to go on there. And we're just going to do one screw at a time. And these uh, flare out, not flare in, right? So you get a few threads on there and then switch to the other side. And then we'll come back and we'll tighten that down. This isn't honestly my favorite kind of design, but it is what it is. So I just switched over to this new setup for cameras. Um, might have a little too much light in some places. We'll have to work on that. Apologize if it gets a little too bleached. We have a mixture of good cameras and not so good cameras, or, or adequate cameras, I'll say, and not such great ones. All right. So, uh, they don't provide you with a, a mounting plate, it would appear. So, the question is, these screws here are going to uh, come in from the back side, which is, which is way different than what I'm used to. Um, so, now the other aspect, folks, is figuring out... The orientation of this thing uh, would appear this is offset for the ram so that it would sit like this and then when you drop this down these guys will fit into the holes okay at least that is your your hope your hopes and dreams um, so I'm just gonna before I put the thermal paste on here I'm hoping that that'll line up. So it doesn't appear actually that they um, fit in the hole. It just sits kind of on top of it, okay? Alright. So they've included thermal paste. We'll go ahead and use their thermal paste. And just unscrew that. And put a nice dab in the middle of this thing. All right. Now, now we can put this in. Um, so just so you guys can see it from this angle, here's where the CPU cooler plugs in. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that now, just to be able to keep these cables out of the way. And then, like I said, this is going to orient this way now. This is going to be not the easiest thing in the world because, yeah, they say flip this thing over, and now we have thermal paste on it, right? So, well, how good is that going to work out? Probably not so good, right? Um, so I would suggest maybe trying to do it from the side. And putting that on its side. So, not the best design in the world. Um, we got one, one screw in. Now, somebody who um, has worked in the aerospace industry and designed a lot of really cool things for the space industry, uh, just things like this. So we're just going to get a few threads on there. We want to make sure we can get threads, we can get the screw into the threaded post so that uh, we don't end up, you know, getting three in and then the fourth one we can't get in, right? That happens. And I'm not sure this guy's lined up yet. Is okay.
So other than this little bit that's annoying, I, I kind of like this design book, so I gotta say. Alright, so there were those little rubber spacers that we were supposed to put on here, dampening. Um, whoops, we didn't put those on. So, I'm going to take, uh, this actually has some on here, some kind, something on there, but uh, we're going to take that off, put that, take the screw out, put it on, and then redo this, alright? I'm going to have to redo it three times. Luckily I didn't screw these in all that far. Alright, so that one's in nice and tight. Which goes against what I said earlier, but once you get them aligned, you should be good to go. And honestly, after this, folks, uh, as far as the insulation goes, that's all there is to it. Um, assuming the rest of you, well, I imagine not the rest of you, but, uh, you know, the hundred or so people that may end up watching this video, I'm sure quite a few of you will have already set up your computer and you're just maybe replacing the CPU cooler. So you don't necessarily need me to do all the other connections that I would do if I was doing a build. Um, if you're watching this and that is not the case, uh, let me know that you're disappointed. That way in future videos I don't shortchange you guys by not hooking up the rest of the stuff for you. So I'm just going to go around and make sure all these are tight. really don't like working with the mother on the side like this, but it's worked out. Now this cable, you'll want to zip tie this, because uh, this will get into the fan blades. So I would suggest doing that before you, uh, you start this thing up, or at least using one of these guys, right? I don't have a zip tie in front of me, but... Um, you know, just get it out of the way, right? And you don't want to look at that in your case, so try and do something that makes it look professional. That is not very professional what I just did, but we'll fix it later. But there you go. Uh, this thing is on there, pretty solid. Don't recommend picking this up by the CPU cooler, but uh, it is, you know, it is in there pretty good. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.